Hi, this is Scott Fetgetter coming to you with my first video blog uh, from the state capitol. It's been a hectic two weeks now and uh, things are moving very rapid as uh, I hear from the uh, more senior members. I want to talk to you a little bit about what we've been doing for District 16. Last week on uh, Thursday evening, I uh, met with uh, PLAC up in Coweta, which is an education group of parents and, and teachers and uh, stakeholders in education. They were wanting to understand better what kind of legislation is coming forth in the upcoming session, and so we had those discussions. Uh, Friday, I met with uh, Kristen Webb, and I actually presented her a citation. She's a senior in high school at Haskell High School, and she was selected to be on the State Superintendent's uh, Student Advisory Council, which is a great honor. There's only 98 students, I believe, across the state that are selected for that. She was the only student selected in District 16, and uh, this was her second year in a row, so it was really nice to get to uh, visit with her and her family and, and, and tell her how much uh, I appreciate her hard work and effort. On Friday night, Senator Thompson and I had an opportunity to visit the Morris High School basketball games where uh, we had presented uh, Trooper Brian Costanza a citation for heroism in, for his part in apprehending the fugitive on the run, Michael Vance. And it was a great honor to be able to be with him and his family that evening. In Omoe County this week, we had a big blow. A committee in the House of Representatives passed a bill to take away a district judge from Omoe County. I just want you to know that I fought diligently to save this seat for uh, the court district as well as the District 16 that I serve. On the floor in the House chamber, we passed Real ID. It's very important to note that this bill will allow Oklahomans to have a choice. You can either choose to have the real ID or you can keep your current driver's license if you are concerned about privacy issues. This was very important though because we had people all over the state who would not have been able to go to work at places like Tinker Air Force Base. It did pass the House and now it's going on with the Senate. Keep following me on Facebook as I continue to post video blogs and other news related items throughout the week. I hope to see you soon at the Capitol. Feel free to call me or email me or come see me anytime.